Welcome to Nish News Weekly Roundup. International News Football legend Diego Maradona passed away. Football legend Diego Maradona has died of a heart attack at the age of 60 on November 25. The Argentinian legend had been hospitalized because of bleeding in his brain in the first week of November just after his 60th birthday. Argentina declared three days national mourning to pay respect to the country's football hero who won the 1986 Football World Cup for Argentina. Adults and children must move more to stay fit in pandemic era, says WHO. All adults should do a minimum of 150 minutes of vigorous physical activity per week for well-being and mental health in the COVID-19 era, the World Health Organization said. It recommended that children and adults should have an average of one hour daily physical exercise and limit time in front of electronic screens. Four Indian astronauts ready for the Gegenyan project. The four Indian astronaut elects who have been training in Russia for the Gegenyan project are all set to enter the last leg of the training module in Russia. Man becomes overnight millionaire after meteorite crashes through his roof. Joshua Hutta Galung, a man from Indonesia, earns a fortune overnight after a meteorite worth 9.8 crore crashes through his house. Joshua, aged 33, is a coffin maker from Sumatra who became richer after he recently sold the meteorite for over 1 million pounds or roughly 9.8 crores. He was working outside his home in August when the 2.1 kilogram space rock smashed through the tin roof in his veranda. 
he shared photos of the meteorite in Facebook. World's only white giraffe in Kenya fitted with tracking device to save it from poachers. A conservation group said rangers could monitor the lone male giraffe's movements in real time. The giraffe has a rare disease called leucism, which causes this loss of skin pigmentation. He is thought to be the last of his kind after poachers killed two of his family members in March. Pilot whales and bottlenose dolphins have died in a mass stranding. About 100 pilot whales and bottlenose dolphins have died in a mass stranding on the remote Chatham Islands, about 800 meters off New Zealand's east coast due to climate changes. Over to national news. Villagers in Himachal Pradesh, Lahore, test COVID positive. All residents of a remote village in Himachal Pradesh, Lahore's PT district, except one man, tested positive for the coronavirus earlier this month. This was one of the worst outbreaks of COVID-19 in the mountainous region where temperatures have dipped below zero. While 41 people tested positive in the Torang village, 
52-year-old Bhushan Thakur said he managed to avoid the infection by simply following the basic safety measures of using mask and sanitizer and maintaining social distancing. An underground tunnel was detected by the Border Security Force BSF in Kashmir's Samba district. BSF personnel carried out an extensive search near Regal Post along the international border a day after an underground tunnel was detected by the forces in Samba district. The Border Security Force claimed detecting yet another suspected tunnel along the 198 km stretch of international border with Pakistan in Jammu and Kashmir's Samba district. The tunnel may have been used for pushing in militants by Pakistan. Srinagar-Ladakh road closed due to heavy snowfall. People walked down a road amid fog and snowfall on the outskirts of Srinagar. The Srinagar-Ladakh road was closed due to heavy snowfall on the higher reaches and rains in plains. Cyclone Nivar causes heavy rain in Chennai and Puducherry in Tamil Nadu. Over 1.45 lakh people have been shifted to 1,516 relief camps across the state. Most people were evacuated from the districts of Kudalur and Nagapattinam located south of Chennai. Around 1,200 National Disaster Response Force personnel have been stationed in Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and neighboring Andhra Pradesh as well. Three people died and 118 huts and tiled roof houses were damaged in Chennai. People watched 
as turbulent waves crash the shore before the landfall by cyclone Nivar at Marina Beach in Chennai. India's first COVID-19 vaccine, Covaxin, Phase 3 trial begins at All India Institute of Medical Science. COVID-19 vaccine will be given to around 15,000 volunteers at the Medical Institute over the next few days. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Serum Institute that makes Oxford vaccine. Prime Minister visited the Pune-based Serum Institute of India, which has partnered with global pharma giant AstraZeneca and the Oxford University for COVID-19 vaccine on November 28. The Central Drug Standard Control Organization has granted permission for manufacturing COVID-19 vaccine for preclinical test, examination and analysis to seven firms. Over to a special news from Kerala. Malayala feature film Jellikatta, directed by Lijo Jospelisheri, is selected for Oscar awards. The Film Federation of India announced on November 25 that the Malayalam feature film Jellikatta, directed by Lijo Jospelisheri, has been selected as India's official entry for the international feature film category at the Oscars 2020.
COVID updates. World. The total number of COVID positive cases reported in the world is 6.22 crores. 40 lakhs and 54,000 people died because of COVID-19 in the world till now. COVID cases in India. The total number of COVID positive cases reported in India is 93 lakhs and 64,000. 1 lakh and 36,000 people died because of COVID-19 in India till now. COVID update of Kerala. The total number of COVID positive cases reported in Kerala till now is 5,88,000. 2,171 people died because of COVID-19 in Kerala till now. With this news, we are ending the Nish News Weekly Roundup. This is Punya Tripathi, degree HI student at Nish, signing for you along with the voiceover of Ms. Sylvie Maximena, Nish faculty. Meet you again next week. Thank you.